an all women's show here in Fort Lauderdale at the Main Event Training Center. The knockout room, Dave Gangrel, Heath, and Craig, part of this whole women's wrestling explosion here. One of the competitors tonight, veteran wrestler, she's done so much in the business. She's a very good wrestler, Dynamite Didi. Dynamite Didi, what was it like being a part of this all women's show? Jesus, you put me over the moon over here. Well, I still like to consider myself a rookie. I still learn every single day something. Um, but speaking of explosive, Dynamite was in the building today, and man, it was something special. People have to understand how far we've come in the business from just always being looked at as eye candy, from being put into ridiculous segments, and just being thrown out there as a bathroom break, which everybody knows at this point, to having only all women shows, to having shows where you can get different kinds of matchups, like. Got, people are actually excited to see women's wrestling. Like they want to see this um, wrestler go against this girl wrestler. And they come here and they pay a ticket just to see us women. And that alone goes to say something. Um, from places like Shimmer to Shine to WSU to Stardom. I mean, they've been doing it for so long, but just now is when they're getting recognition. And with the May Young Classic going on, um, I think maybe about. 70% of those women I grew up watching or learning from or being um, having the blessing to be in the ring with them to learn something from them. So it's one of those things that you watch and you're like, about damn time, like are you serious? Like way too far behind on this. So yeah, just I'm just happy and I'm happy to be a part of it. I'm happy to be able to still learn from those great women that pay the way and be part of the revolution as a whole. Was it ever frustrating for you? About when did you start in the business? I started, my first match was August of 2012. So 2012, so. Five years. Was it a lot different even in 2012 compared to what's going on now? And was it frustrating at times? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, it was frustrating because we couldn't really have a voice. So the big man would tell you what to do. And I trained with only guys when I came in. Uh, La Rosa was actually the first person, the first girl that I trained with that was a woman. And that was like six months into training. So I trained with only guys and it was tough, man. They were really tough on you. Now I feel like, you know, my baby, the women that come in and train nowadays, but that's okay. It was definitely different. It was different for the training aspect of it and the actual wrestling part of it and shows and stuff like that. Um, yeah, way different. Now we get respect, um, which we didn't really get. Do you find there's more women wrestling now too and training to become wrestlers? I think there's a boom of women's wrestlers out there from all, it come from all kinds of places, backgrounds, ages, races, everything. And it's, it's a beautiful thing when you really think about it that um, such a revolution got around so much that you have women actually turning on the TV and wanting to do that. When before it was like, oh no, I don't want to do that, that's trashy. Or like, oh no, look, you gotta be half naked on TV. Now it's like, it's a powerful woman, I want to be that. And that's what I saw. But nowadays it's, it's easier. Do you think that Ronda Rousey, the US Women's National Soccer Team, even the WNBA, yeah. things like that has helped in this evolution of women's wrestling and women getting respect? I think, I'm, I'm a, how can I say this? I'm a hippie at times, where as far as I love humans and I love the earth and I love like everything. So I see that there's like just a boom in the whole world of women doing powerful stuff. And it happened at the same time. So it was in wrestling, it was in UFC, it was in, in soccer, it was in basketball, in politics. It was everywhere. So I feel like it was just about time that the world got to respect their women a little more and see that we can do things that the boys can do and sometimes we can do it better. <laughs> Dynamite Didi, speaking of doing it better, you're doing it the best. Latinas do it better, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Dynamite Didi. Thank you, Jane. You're awesome. Mwah.